Hello, I um, I don't know if this is the right angle or whatever. I can't now see the phone. So anyway, all right. So today what I'm doing is we have a challenge on one of our soap groups um, and it's called Peacock Swirl, Swirl. Now I have never done this before. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I've watched a bunch of YouTube videos and read the instructions. So we'll see how it goes. I'm using my vegan recipe, which is um, got no milk in it, so it shouldn't race to trace or anything. Um, the original recipe that I use has uh, castor in it, but I've taken that out and replaced it with olive. Um, I've made my cool little tool here. <laughs> Seriously, yep. This ghetto in this house today. Um, I'm using this beautiful box. <laughs> oh, I love this box <laughs> as my mold because I don't have a slab mold. Well, yeah, technically I do have one. I made one out of core flute ages ago. Um, I've never used it, uh, but it was designed to use the divider in it because I refused to pay eighty dollars. For a slab mold with dividers when I can make it for $3. But anyway, I can't. Core flute will leak if you thin if your trace is too thin. So I know this will leak and I can't line it because I've got these little things that hold this in place. And I don't want to cut these out because I've designed this for a specific reason, being that I cannot cut slab slab soap straight. So if I put this in. And I get all my tiny little soaps, don't have to cut it. Alright, so, so I'm using this because I can line it. Um, I have absolutely no intention of selling this soap because I know I won't be able to cut it straight, so I'll have wonky soap and it'll just annoy me. So this will be just given away to someone probably. Um, what else do I have to tell you? Um, this is fairly cool I don't want to go much lower because it's starting to get cloudy now but it's sitting at about I think about 25 this the line um, is full 300 grams of water I think it's 138 a lie so it's still water discounted a little bit um, I'm fingers crossed that won't matter uh, all right I've got my colors made up already in a little bit of oil i've even got my activated charcoal done up in oil today never done that before either i have my squirty bottles lined so i don't have to wash them up <laughs> so lazy um the whole the whole premise of this is you put you get your mold and you put oh, lines that way of soap right and then you bring your tool in and you slide it through and it puts these lines and then you get your chopstick and you do these curly things and it ends up looking like a peacock fan. So yeah, so that's that's the plan today. So how about I stop talking and we just get started. Oh, the other thing, so I can't stop talking, <laughs> is um, I'm not gonna stick blend this hardly at all. I don't even know. If I'll stick blender door, but stick blender ready. But I thought I might um, just give it a bit of a uh, a whisk and see how it goes first, uh, because I want to keep it as fluid as possible for as long as possible. That I mean that that's the whole thing for this um, for this technique is it needs to be as fluid as possible for as long as possible so so yeah now, i have a very exciting week coming up because i'm talking now because this is boring <laughs> um usually uh, about a week after the markets i it's my delivery week because i will have ordered everything i can possibly order with the money i made yeah uh so you know i get pizza and then the rest goes in supplies. <laughs> Thank you.
when I do that, if it's emulsified or not. Yeah, see, it's not emulsified. You can, I don't know if you can see up there, but you can see these lines, which are oil. So the other thing too is when I put it in these bottles and shake it up, that'll help as well. So helped me out today and it's even the new one woohoo which was freaking awesome by the way if you're a trekkie even if you're not a trekkie i'd imagine it would still be awesome but well it wouldn't be if you don't like sci-fi and then it would be shit all right <laughs> Alrighty. you know i'm really stupid now that i think about it. why don't i just make these up in the actual bottles because i'm stupid I have a nice Korean love song that's titled Because I'm Stupid. It's off the um the Korean version of Boys Over Flowers. Which is awesome. Seriously. If you like Korean and Japanese dramas, Boys Over Flowers is the best. Well, Hannah Kimmy's the best, but Boys Over Flowers would be the second best, I reckon. I'm sorry if I'm not in frame, I can't help it. I don't know where I am. Yeah, I mean, it's probably going to be better for you guys to be up there. You should be able to see more, but I now can't just look over and see if you guys can see what I'm doing so so yeah know, we'll figure we'll figure it out with there may be a few positional changes before we get it right well, the fact that I can't even leave the camera there anyway it means you're going to be moved fairly often so alrighty as usual, all the micers are from my micro session. You know how I feel. If you don't, you probably need to watch more videos. <laughs> yeah, I'm not bossy or anything. Um, this one is Wellington. It's like the most wonderful yellow of all. Now see, can you see that? I don't know if it's if it's focusing or not, because I can't see. But um I mixed that just with a spoon. I did not use the little cappuccino fluffery thing that everyone else uses. That was just with a spoon and there's not a single lump in there. So that's yellow. And then we have, this one is Bubblegum Bliss. It's very cool. It's got like a well, I don't know if you can see it. Oh no, it's got a blue sheen to it. It's lovely. Very bubble gummy. Alright. And then we have... Oh, I probably should put the lid on. Big head. And then we have my absolute favourite, which is Eminence, which is the most gorgeous purple. Evil Minion Purple, this one. They were purple, weren't they? 
In my head, they were purple, so, you know, that's where I live anyway, so that's all that matters. Oh, it's such a good colour. It's so goth. That's what it is. It's definitely a goth purple. Lids. All right. God, I hope I can do this. Oh, I hope I can do this right. Yes, this video may not yet see the light of day. I'm pretty stoked with how well this mixed up in oil, actually. I wasn't entirely sure if it would. Yeah, and if you've watched any of my other videos, you know how much I love activated charcoal. It's one of my favourite things because it's as black as my heart. Alright, so. Oh, that's right, these stupid friggin'. Stupid plastic bags are useless with gloves. They just stick. Like if, I, if I had a brain, I'd have taped them down. Actually, that wouldn't work anyway because they've got to move when they get filled up with soap. So I'm just. The reason I'm doing that is when you sometimes when you take your finger off these, they go everywhere. Usually not when the soap's this thin, but. Oh, look. Cat hair. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> They're really like, I'm buying your soaps now. They've got cat hair in them. That's okay, I'm not selling this one. So. Now, I have to remember which way am I going again? Those have got to go that way. So the lines need to go across that way. All right. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm not the stupid person. I'm really, I'm not. Okay, so if we draw it that way. Yeah, so the crossways, all right, so. I'm not gonna fuss too much because it's gonna be a while before I get to the top of the soap, so. These things, pain in the ass, seriously. But as soon as there is enough soap in there, I will take them off. Oops. Oh yeah, they are a pain in my ass. Oh, look at that. Ooh, sexy. Oh, don't do it. Can't, can't do it. The plastic bags are just too much of a pain in the ass. So. If you don't like it, don't watch. The worst that can happen now is I'll get some raw soap on myself and it will make me itch. So, Well, this is definitely nice and thin. For sure. What I might do is I might actually turn it around. But I hope you can see what I'm doing. That yellow probably could have had a bit more yellow in it. Should be very dull. Oh well, whatever. Shit happens. <laughs> Wash it up now so I can just fast forward this crap.
if it didn't line that as perfectly as I thought. All right, so the tool, <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. <laughs> well, I thought it was pretty funny. I'm going to do this all the way to the bottom. Wow! How friggin' amazing does that look? Oh, yeah, now it's all... Yeah. Ah, that is so cool. All right. So, <laughs> the theory is... you do this <laughs> the theory apparently it's a theory um and then I go like that I think I screwed it up um yeah possibly I'm not entirely sure I don't know does it look right but that's kind of Pale looking thing. Oh no. Works for me. <laughs> and that's it. Wow, that's like the most nerve wracking soap I've ever made. It's stupid good looking. Seriously, it's stupid looking. Hello, look. <laughs> I've got it out of the box. Yay! Um. Yeah, right. I don't know. How about I just cut it? I've put little score marks. I don't know if you can see those or not. Because if I just tried it, it'd be like this. So. Yeah. I tell you, it's handy having a knife so big. <laughs> Oh dear. I've forgotten what it's like cutting so I haven't used a knife for ages. Oh my god. Ah. Looks ridiculous. But you know you can see that I actually went all the way to the bottom. Well not quite all the way to the bottom. I think that's kind of cool. Very camo isn't it? Like very um graffiti camo there you go and even though i scored that i'm pretty sure it's not straight <laughs> oh that's not straight i don't think i don't even know how do i tell if that's straight or not no that's not straight <laughs> I had no idea how to cut this like sizing wise because it's such a flat bar. I don't do that. Is, this is not what I normally do. So. All right. So should I do one or two? I think two. I think one's going to just make like a massively. Well, you know what? It'd be pretty cool in the hand having something that big, wouldn't it? All right, what I'll do is I'll cut this piece just in half. <laughs> there you go. It looks like um, Monet's been playing in my kitchen, which would be kind of cool, but also a little creepy because he's very, very dead. Yeah. And then <laughs> we'll cut three evenly, shall I? There's one. I'll cheat. That's what I'll do. There we go. Boop. And We'll need to clean up. So what size is better? That's more of a bar size, isn't it? Whereas that's just friggin' gigantic. But I might cut this edge off. 
think I'll go with this size. Oh, that's a bit loud. Sorry. Pause. One of the cat. No, never mind. I was about to say it's one of the cats not meowing. Apparently it's dinner time, and I forgot to feed him. Or he's just a greedy guts and wants food. I think the, the latter would be the correct version of the story. Alright, so there you have it, my really trippy soap. That I'm really keen to redo. And something that has a scent and some brighter colours. Imagine this in brighter colours. Well, I don't have to imagine. I've seen it in brighter colours and it's awesome. Um, I don't know what even order they went in anymore. I don't even care. There you go.